All right, playing a game here with Modern Allies. Looks like we're in the Watsi mirror. <laughs> uh, this deck, this hand has a lot of land in it. It has a 1-2 curve. We're on the draw. I'm going to try it. I don't know about this. Uh, the 1-2 the curve is nice. The encampment is nice to try to pick one of them up. Um, but, of course, okay, well, that's that's good. All right, so let's see here. Go ahead and leave with the encampment. I mean, this is going to be uh, pretty nice here, though. We can um, like to always just to this. We can play our Ornery Survivor this on two, then the Akum Battle Singer, and get in there for quite a bit of damage. Our opponent's on some sort of red green. Kinka, okay, he's on red green Stompy. This is a deck. I have seen this deck before. Shout out to Matt Mendoza for this one. Um, okay, well, we're not casting anything this turn. So I guess we play around the next LD spell. And just hold it. Yeah, this is a deck. This is actually on my list of things to, to play on this stream sometimes. Uh, because it uh, is pretty good. It just plays ramp and land destruction and giant threats. Uh, overall, it's actually a pretty solid plan. So, I get the stomping ground out here. All right, company's nice if we ever, you know, actually get there. Uh, go ahead and play the planes. Preserve our ally encampment as much as possible. And, yep. All right, so let's see if we can make this go a little always yield. Always yes, always yield. There we go. Well, let's see if he's holding up anything in particular here, or if he's sitting on... Uh, this deck plays Monvuli Acid Moss, um, which is a, a two generic, two green that destroys the land and searches your deck for a forest and puts it into play. So, but let's see, he's at five mana. I know Inferno Titan would be pretty good against us, so let's hope it's not that next turn, but see what he's got on five. You know, there's the Acid Moss. So he did have it, we just, in fact, played around it. Um... Okay. A forest card, so it can be any forest. Pretty good. Pretty good. And now he's going to tighten us next turn. But, I mean, we're getting in for damage still. Now, these companies are going to be great if we, you know, actually get the opportunity to use them. Little does he know we played around all of his land destruction by keeping a five land hand. All right, well, we get in for a bunch of damage here. Ten, as a matter of fact. So we're going to get pretty blown out if he has the Inferno Titan right here. I think we can beat some other stuff. They also play Bonfire of the Damned, which means at any point he can just top deck Bonfire and Miracle us and blow us out. But another Acid Moss, okay. Well, we don't have lands. Okay, good draw there, though. I like that. We, we're not casting these collected companies, but he is getting quite beat down. In fact, I think we're presenting lethal here, even with the chump. Let's see. Yep. Uh, seven. So he chumps, takes seven. Yep, that is, in fact, lethal. So he needs a bolt here. Wow, we got there. So, yeah, three. Just beat on three through three land destruction spells. That's pretty good. Um, now, I guess we may want the return to the ranks. Maybe the Gideon? We're not going to have a bunch of mana. Um, hmm. This is very interesting. Maybe we cut some of the three drops. The lifelink seems not as relevant. The mantle seed, the fire mantle mantle seed is pretty fine still. Um, I'm trying to get in basically some, some sort of, of, of late game. I think Gideon might be okay because it's the sort of thing that if he takes us off land afterwards. Yeah, I mean, we'll do this. I don't know that there's much more to be done. I, I'd want Return to the Ranks, but I'm worried about actually having enough mana. I guess it's fine. If we have four mana and get two guys back, you know, I'd rather just cast the Gideon, I think. So we'll just we'll put in a Gideon and go from there. 
Can't say this is a matchup I ex have played or expected to play. That said, this is a keeper. Three land, two one drops. Unfortunately, this now this is the the one thing that might come up with this deck if uh, requires a lot of testing is um, the mana for the Dramokus command because this is for Dramokus command concerns three colorless lands, um, and that that is you know something to keep in mind. That's why we can't run more of them for one, uh, but also why. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the land base needs to be changed a little bit. You know, maybe you run seven of the encampment and caverns rather than the full eight, or maybe you don't run your bogus commands. Maybe it's better to have the mana consistency. Um, I would say that that's for for you at home to figure out. Like, if you pick up this deck, I, you, the um, the important thing I'm I'm concerned with here is showing you sort of the power of the deck and what it can do. Not necessarily uh, the complete optimized list because that's very hard to know without just putting in. You know, um, you know, many hundreds of games basically to decide. Because we would have no problem casting this in the last game. Now, if he has Acid Moss here, that's going to hurt. Fulminator Mage, well, that's pretty good too. Oh, okay. Cavern down. He's only got two cards in hand. Um, looks. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this and get this on out here. Gotta get the beat down going. We are gonna get extremely blown out if he does end up with an Inferno Titan here, but he's only at five mana currently. Okay, what is this? Bonfire Dark Dweller is getting back bolt. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so Expedition Envoy down. There's something to path at some point, though I'm not interested in doing it particularly soon. Oh, he took this one. Interesting. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to play the Blade Master here. Um, because playing the Lantern Scout doesn't do anything. I mean, we'll play the Blade Master. We may path at the end of his turn. Um on the Dark Dwellers, depending on what happens here. Because then we can play the Lantern Scout and get in for quite a bit. Another Fulminator, huh? He's got one card in hand. I mean, I am a little leery to put him... Sure. To six mana. Oh, he's going to make it really easy for us. That's fine. I definitely don't need to block it. He trades a bunch of damage this way. I don't think this was worth for him. Okay, well, now we'll just save this and hit the Inferno Titan if that's what it is. Um, I guess we're not going to be able to follow up with Lantern Scout here unless we hit a land, which we did not. Okay. Well, I guess we get in there for four. He has no cards in hand, so... We'll see what happens here. I don't hate our spot. We have a removal spell. We have multiple good three drops. He's top decking. I guess technically we can even sack this if he tries to blow it up to return this to our hand. We could get Temple Garden, use this um, if he's going to blow it up anyways, bounce this, replay this, make this guy 3-3. Three, three. Not saying I want to do that, but we can. Yeah, now he realizes he can't attack. Which means I almost certainly am just gonna pull the trigger on the path here. Now if we hit the land we get to attack him for quite a bit, and if not, I mean we get to attack. <laughs> so it's certainly in an okay spot. I called this deck Stompy earlier, I think, right? If I did, I, I misspoke. It's Ponza, I believe is the, the name. Not that I played Magic back when either Stompy or Ponza were decks, but I believe the proper name for this is Ponza. Nice, we did it. Okay. 
Um, Evangel gives us not lethal. So, and we actually have the Jermokus command up now as well, but I'm just going to go ahead and pull the trigger on the Lantern Scout. Get on in there for five. So if he just takes this, yeah, which I assume he does, he at four, so we can win with Evangel next turn. Now we definitely get blown out um, by a bonfire, which I think, I'm trying to remember that. Actually, I think he could bonfire for three right now. Interesting. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll use the ability. Maybe he thought we didn't have a bunch of basics. Maybe... Okay. Well, now I just get a Dromokus command, so that's kind of sweet. I would like to make... Uh, this guy a little bigger. And this guy will fight this guy. All right, and we will go ahead and slam the Evangel here. Give our guys protection from green and win the game. All right, allies taking it down.